There are plenty of reasons why you should still consider a mid-sized sedan like this, the Kia Optima. I'm sure there are, just, just give me a sec to think about them. Hmm, yeah, okay, so this part of the market is dying. A decade or so ago, sedans like this were selling in very big numbers, but not today because there are so many good alternatives in the same sort of price bracket. People are shopping for mid-size SUVs over mid-size sedans. That's just a fact of life. But that doesn't mean models like this, the just updated 2018 Kia Optima, don't have their place in the Australian market. But for this car, I'm just not so sure that this facelifted version is actually any better looking than the previous model. The cosmetic changes include new headlights and taillights with revised LED signatures, but still halogen lamps in the base model. And there are newly sculpted bumpers, a new grille, and new wheel designs. This is the base model, the SI, which doesn't look quite as sporty as the flagship GT. It misses out on things like the bigger alloy wheels, the sports body kit, and the LED headlights. This is kind of the old man version of the Kia Optima. No offense to old men, of course. It just doesn't have the same amount of appeal as the flagship GT version. There's not quite as much bling inside the cabin of the SI either, but it's still a well-designed space. I really like the way Kia designs its cabins. Sure, there's a lot of black in here, but the quality of the materials and the thought that they've put into the space is top notch. The seven inch touchscreen media system in this base model SI includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a first for the Optima. And it's a cinch to use as well. Also included is a reversing camera, USB input, Bluetooth phone and audio streaming, and six speakers. The SI model misses out on SatNav. You have to use the Maps app on your phone. Storage is well thought out too. There are big bottle holders in the doors, there's a pair of cup holders up front, and a small little storage nook for your wallet, phone, keys, whatever. Plus there's a decent sized center console bin as well. In front of the driver, there's a digital information screen, which includes a digital speedometer, and even in this base model SI, you get dual zone climate control, which is a bit of a plus. Now, what about the back seat? It may be considered a mid-sized sedan, but I've got limo-like space back here. I've set the driver's seat to my position. I'm about six foot tall and there's ample space. I've got heaps of knee room, good foot room, and plenty of shoulder room. Three of me could fit across here pretty comfortably. And that means kids will fit comfortably too. There are dual ISOFIX anchor points and three top tethers as well. As for storage, there's a flip down center armrest with cup holders and map pockets plus big bottle holders in the doors once again. And a bonus for people who are in the back, there are rear seat air vents and USB charging. Now, what about the boot? With so many people choosing SUVs over sedans because they're theoretically more practical, the Optima offers good food for thought. It has a big enough boot space for a bunch of suitcases and there's a full-size alloy spare wheel under the boot floor too. The Optima retains its strong safety credentials with auto emergency braking and adaptive cruise control. And now the lane departure warning system has steering assistance too. Driver fatigue monitoring has been added as well. Considering Kia dropped prices for this updated model across the range, the standard equipment list is pretty good. Though if you want all the fruit, you really need to fork out the extra 10 grand or so for the GT, and then you're getting very close to stinger territory. The SI then is a value-focused sedan that you might consider if you've looked at a Toyota Camry or a Hyundai Sonata. And like those models, the Optima has some really good elements to the way it drives, but also some not so impressive bits. Let's start with the bad stuff. The 2.4 litre engine in this base model SI just isn't anywhere near as exciting as the 2 litre turbo in the GT. And the fact that Kia still doesn't offer a hybrid drivetrain in Australia is a bit of a letdown. The drivetrain isn't terrible, but if you're in eco mode or comfort mode, it is a bit slow and the transmission can be a little bit eager to go up a gear to save fuel. But if you put it in sports mode, it's more aggressive and definitely more enjoyable. You just might pay a bit of a price in terms of fuel consumption. Realistically though, it's just a shame that Kia doesn't offer the turbo drivetrain in this entry level model. 
Fuel use for the SI model is better than the turbo though, so it could be ideal for buyers who are more worried about the bottom line than design and a sportier drive. The thing I like most about the Optima is its road manners. It's been tuned in Australia for Australian conditions, both the steering and the suspension, and you can really tell whether you're driving or if you're a passenger. The steering is really well sorted. It's really light when you need it to be, so when you're parking, for example, and at higher speeds, it has good assuredness to it. Plus, the ride comfort is very good too. On the open road, it gets along very well with not much fuss at all in terms of the suspension. Around town, you can notice sharp edges, particularly at the front axle, and if you hit a mid-corner bump, it can feel a little bit skittish at the back as well. But overall, it's a very well-considered ride and handling package. It's pretty quiet on the open road too, and the adaptive cruise control makes long distance driving a pretty simple task. Plus, it'll even stop the car in heavy traffic. As with all Kia models, there's a strong seven year ownership promise with an unlimited kilometre warranty, roadside assist and cap price servicing. It makes a lot of sense if you plan to hang on to the car for a while. If you do a lot of long distance driving, need quite a bit of space and don't want to spend a lot of money on your next new car, then yeah, a sedan like this could offer a good amount of appeal to you. And in fact, the Kia Optima sedan is one of the better examples in the segment. So if you're looking at a vehicle like this, then you should definitely check it out.